everybody. Today we're going to read the story Ready for Anything by Kiko Kaza. Duck arrived at Raccoon's house on a bright sunny day. Hey Raccoon, said Duck, are you ready for our picnic? Um, well, I changed my mind, said Raccoon. I don't want to go. Why not, asked Duck. Well, I've been thinking, said Raccoon. What if we are attacked by killer bees? No, said Duck. Yeah, said Raccoon. And what if they chase us, you know, and we fall into a river? Oh no, cried Duck. Oh yeah, said Raccoon. And what if we swim for our lives, but a terrible storm strikes? Oh no, oh no, yelled Duck. Oh yes, oh yes, Raccoon went on. And what if we look for shelter in a cave, but there's already someone in there, someone really scary. Like, like who? asked Duck. A dragon, shouted Raccoon. They both screamed and they hid under a blanket. It could happen, you know, Raccoon warned. Pit picnics are dangerous. You're right, Duck thought about it for a while, but Raccoon? What if some lovely butterflies pass by instead of bees? Hmm, that would be nice, said Raccoon. Yes, said Duck, and what if we follow the butterflies to the river and jump in for a cool splash? That would be even nicer, Raccoon answered. Yes, much nicer, Duck said. And what if the weather is beautiful with just a gentle breeze blowing? We could fly a kite. Gee, that sounds like fun, Raccoon admitted. Lots of fun, Duck said. And then we might find a cave to explore. Don't go in, Raccoon shouted. There's a fire-breathing dragon in there, remember? Maybe, said Duck, but what if it's just a cute little dragon who wants to play with us? You think, said Raccoon? Sure, said Duck, and what if we have the best picnic ever, roasting marshmallows? Wow, said Raccoon, your what-ifs are wonderful, Duck. What are we waiting for, Raccoon cried. Let's go on a picnic. That's the spirit, Raccoon, Duck cheered. Just give me a few minutes to get ready, said Raccoon. So Duck waited and waited and waited some more until finally Raccoon announced, okay, Duck, I'm ready to go. Oh, Raccoon, Duck fell over laughing. You worry too much, but I guess you're ready for anything, huh? At last, the two friends left for their picnic. Thanks, Duck, said Raccoon. This is much more fun than hiding under a blanket. No problem, said Duck. Trust me, nothing could go, could go wrong with on a little picnic. But then when they got there, Duck gasped. Oh no, Duck moaned. I forgot the picnic basket. Duck wanted to cry, but Raccoon stayed calm. No problem, Raccoon declared, opening his backpack. Like you said, I'm ready for anything. What a fun story. I hope you enjoyed it too. You know, sometimes we can feel a lot like Raccoon did at the beginning of the story. We can worry about all the what ifs and that might stop us from enjoying our day. When we start to think of the worrisome what ifs, we can do some things to help us feel better. First, we can take a few deep breaths. Try it with me. You know how important I think taking deep breaths are. Second, we can talk to people who love and support us like our parents. We can share what we are worried about because often when we say it out loud, the worry doesn't seem so scary anymore. Third, we can think of all the steps we are taking right now to stay safe so <clears throat> that we can see each other again soon. And finally, we can do something fun. Maybe take a bike ride, color a picture, play with a pet, learn something new, or even have a picnic in your yard like Raccoon inducted. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you all very soon.